Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to stop a moving object that's using transform.translate. So, go to game object, 3D object cubed, and I'm just going to drag this material onto it so you can see it better. Okay, and we need to make it move. So, C sharp scripts, move player. Alright, in the up here, we need to make a speed variable public int called speed. This is how fast the player moves. Alright, in the update function, we need to leave a function called move uh, well we can't name it that, move players I guess or move cube alright and then we need to actually make that function All right, and let's make, I've got to put void. Let's make it do something. So do transform dot translate. And you do equals new vector three, or am I wrong? Using vector three for the x axis, y axis, z axis, and we want to move them to the right, and then we want to multiply this by our speed so it will move, and then we need to multiply it by time dot delta time for real time movement. Make cube move. All right. So this thing should move. RB does not exist. Okay, that's from a different script. Alright, drag your uh, script on your cube. And give the speed a speed of 2. Push play, it should move to the right. It's moving, okay. Now, how do you stop it? Well, that's simple. Let's make a, um, for this example, just a input method. Uh, my input and inside if input dot get key Spacebar Then uh, just set speed to zero I cannot type and make sure your input function is inside of update function or it's not going to be called all right what what why is there a what uh key code
git key at key code dot space that will fix it all right run it and push spacebar and the object stop moving I challenge you to make it stop to start moving again so uh, pause the video and try that out see if you can figure it out so I'm gonna resume the video in five seconds all right to make it uh, move again all you would have to do is for instance this is get key so anytime you push this button it's going to stop it but what if we hold down on it so as long as we hold down on it it's not going to move and then we copy paste this and if we say key up when we let go it just start moving again now there's other you could have done this a million different ways this is just how the way I picked to do it you could have done a separate um, key for like the letter T or something all right let's try that so as long as we hold down on it it won't move and when we let go it's gonna move Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share the videos, get in contact with me or show your friends. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.